Now that you have a brand new text editor to work with in Joomla, you're probably anxious to take a look at it and see how it works. So I thought in this tutorial we'll uh, actually create our first article for our website and you can see how all of that works. Let's uh, open our browser and go to our back end. Now, before we actually start using our new text editor, we have to tell Joomla that that is the text editor that we want to use instead of the one that came with Joomla. And the way to do that is to click on Global Configuration here under Configuration. Or you can also find it under System Global Configuration. And right there on the first page, there's a section called Default Editor. And currently, by default, it's, it's on Tiny MCE. We want to change it to the new one that we just installed, JCE. So click that and then go up and save and close. And now when we go up to Content, Article Manager, Add New Article. Well, let's just go to Article Manager for a moment because the article that we'll create is an About Us uh, article and so what we're going to do is just take that sample data that we installed the article that's currently there and just replace it well <laughs> all they had was put more information on this page okay so well that's what we'll do so our title is already in we don't need to type that but normally when you start an article that would be the first thing that you would do is go up and give your article a title now the JCE editor that we have installed here is a very typical what you see is what you get editor, WYSIWYG editor. And what that basically means is that the information that you type in here is going to look very similar here as it will on the internet. When people first started uh, the internet, creating website pages were uh, mostly done in HTML. And it was very difficult, especially for new users, to visualize what their article would look like when they had to type it in in this other computer language. And so people developed these types of uh, editing to make it easier for the rest of us to visualize what our page will look like when it's actually finished. And so some of the articles that you create, you might just want to basically just type in right here inside this editor. And just like any word processor out there, you can uh, make changes. You can do spell checking by uh, clicking on the little button here. It'll check for any spelling mistakes. Looks like we're good to go there. Right now, uh, we can see that it's probably centered. You don't normally center website uh, articles. So let's go and uh, left justify that or align to the left. And... Just like any word processor, you can uh, change the font size for any of your text, make it larger, very large. We probably wouldn't normally uh, make uh, something that large, but just so you know you have the uh, capability, you can, of course, italicize your text. You can bold your text, underline your text, do um, superscript, to make notes. So you can see you have uh, a really powerful text editor that is almost as good as Word. And uh, so because this editor has uh, such powerful features, a lot of people just go ahead and type their article right here inside Joomla in this text editor. But just know that you don't have to. If you would prefer to write your articles in a professional word processor like Word that has all of the features such as uh, thesauruses and dictionaries and great spell checking, grammar checking, all those types of things, by all means go ahead and write your articles there and then when you're finished you can just copy paste those into Joomla. Actually there's one little step that I always like to do before I bring them into Joomla. Let's just go ahead and select all and uh, do a copy of that, Control C. Uh, it's a good idea before you bring them into uh, JCE editor is to first of all open them up in a very simple text editor like Notepad. Paste it into that and then select all again, copy again, and then bring it into JCE. 
And of course we'll want to justify that, so we can just go up here and do that. Now the reason why, I should point out, the reason why we take that extra step of bringing it into Notepad first is because even though you can't see them, Word has a lot of hidden characters that uh, assist with the formatting of your document in Word. When you do a copy-paste, sometimes those hidden characters make it into your copy, and should they end up here in your JCE editor, they could cause problems in the way that your article displays on the internet. And so it's always a good idea to drop your articles that you create in Word or other word processors into something like Notepad, and this will strip out all of those hidden formatting characters so that when you do a second copy and paste, you're just bringing over very clean text. All right, I just want to show you a few quick things about the JC Editor itself. First of all, note that you can resize your window depending on your screen resolution. You could have it uh, much smaller or open it right up, and you'll see that the text automatically reflows as you make those size adjustments. Now, since we will probably allow Joomla to display the title of our articles at the very top of our articles, we probably can take out that information here. And let's say that we want to add an image. JCE Editor allows you to do that very easily. Position your cursor where you want to insert the image, and I want to put it right there. And then go up to this little box here that kind of looks like a, an ocean scene there and it says we can insert or edit our image. Click on that, and this will bring up a dialog box that will allow you to upload an image to be used in your article. And we do that by using this little icon here. Again, it's kind of an ocean scene, I think, only at sunset with an up arrow. Click on that, and then also browse. And this will take you to the hard drives of your computer and allow you to navigate to that area where you are keeping the image or images that you want to upload. And here's the one I want to use here. So just double click on that. And then uh, once you see the name of the image show up here, just click on the upload. And then once you see it showing up over here in the right hand panel, go over and uh, just click once on the file itself and you'll see that it then shows up in the URL position up here. And then in the alternate text you want to type in a uh, text that relates or describes the image that you're uploading. In this case I'll just put my own name. And this helps people who are vision impaired as well as search engines uh, connect to your image in a textual way. All right, and then once you have that in, you are given the option to position the image in your article. And more often than not, you'll want to line it up on the left-hand side of your article. And then um, if you want to give yourself a little bit of margin. If you look up here in the preview, you'll get an idea of what it's going to look like with whatever uh, option you choose here. Let's say we center it. Well, our text is going to, our preview over here is going to show us that. If we were to say we want it on the right, then you'll see that the text now flows around to the uh, left-hand side of the image. But we want to have it over on the left. The problem is we see that the text is butted right up against the image itself, and we want to leave ourselves a, just kind of a little white space there. So what we can do is uncheck this little box here, and let's add maybe 10 pixels to the right, and maybe 5 pixels to the bottom. And you'll see that as you enter these numbers and look over at the preview, it is reflecting the changes that you've requested. Okay, well you got everything set the way you want. You can just hit the insert button down here. And if you have uh, more white space up here than you want, you can just uh, hit the delete button and bring that text back up. And now our text nicely flows around our image. Okay, and uh, once you're happy with what you've got, uh, one more step is you need to select a category that your article should go into. Now, we haven't really talked about categories yet. I think we'll maybe do that in our next tutorial. For now, we can just put it into uncategorized. That's fine. In fact, um, usually the About Us page does go into that category, so we're all good. We can hit Save and Close. 
And now, since this was already set up in our sample data, we should be able to just go to our website now, click on About, and see our article show up. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to uh, create an article and add it to your website.